Uh, victory Saturday, folks. Ooh, I told y'all. I told y'all what was going to be. I told you this phrase, Red Series, was going to be competitive. And Jesus, it is definitely living up to the billing. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Atlanta Sports was slid on this Saturday. Uh, as you can see, it's a beautiful day out here. Baby, baby's crying. Music was playing earlier. I'm set up on the deck. I got one more week until my vacation starts, or AKA staycation. I'm on doing a lot of things, going to some Gwinnett Braves games and Atlanta Braves games, having this few uh, shindigs. As you can see, I got the thing set up right out here in the back deck. I did that about a week ago. Everything is set, man. It is set to party. Invites have been sent. If you're interested, please let me know. And if you like the content on the channel, like and subscribe. Again, everybody, if you care to donate to Big Bull Daddy, all stupid comments will be immediately blocked and deleted. Um, uh, Cash App, you know, obviously he has medical bills. I know people have done some donations and stuff in the past for so many things, whether I agree with it or not. Show, show, show you got a heart here, man. Let's help, let's help our longtime friend out and everything. So far, I got $40 raised. I will be donating as well. Hit me up. Let me know. It is for Big Bull Daddy, and he will get it. Uh, the Braves snapped the Reds' 12-game uh, winning streak. You knew it had to come to an end sooner or later. Uh, Jesus Christ, man. It was uh, one of those, again, uh, nine more home runs or eight more home runs today, 17 homers in the series. Uh, geez. Uh, let me take the good of this game. The good of this game is we got the win. I did say, remember I told everybody before the series started that the Braves are going to take two games in this series. Now we took one. It's time to win on Sunday. I did say that. What a breeze feels great. I did say that. Um, but I didn't expect to blow a 5 nothing lead yesterday either. Uh, but today's game was good that we won. Schuster got the start against, uh, I don't know, uh, Jesus, I already forgot the guy, uh, Ashcraft. Uh, the Braves uh, jumped out to a 3-0 uh, lead. Braves had home runs. Uh, was it Ozzy Albies had a homer. Travis Darno had a homer. He's red hot. It's a good thing that Travis Darno is bringing the offense and a decent defense. But Sean Murphy's still working his way back. He'll... So I think from what they said, Sean Murphy is going to start tomorrow uh, because Trevor Starno has been taking the load the last week. Uh, Sean Murphy did get a pinch hit the other day. But, you know, Murphy's going to come in tomorrow. Um, so uh, that'll be a good rest for him. Uh, Albies homer, Marcelo Zuna, another homer. Dude, this dude has, has changed his whole season and outlook around since that series in May. I think it was May 1st against the Marlins. So you're looking at almost three months where Marcel has gone from a 0 0.85 uh, batting average to some really good numbers. And he's even been uh, uh, on the ballot for the All-Star game, you know, on the 11th. And the Braves could get seven, eight, or nine people. Braves, realistically, because, uh, you know, they're either going to get starters or the backups. You know, the first two obviously make it on each position, uh, unless I read it wrong. But Acuna's already in. Uh, you know Sean Murphy's going to win the catching. You know Orlando R.C. is going to win shortstop. And then you got third base, Austin Riley is second. Uh, second base, Albies is second. So that'll be five. Uh, Travis Darno has an opportunity to get in on the DH. That would be six. Marcelo Zuna is even on the battle. That would be seven. We already know Spencer Strider and Bryce Elder is going to go eight and nine. And Matt Olson is second in the first baseman. That's 10. I realistically think the Braves are probably going to get six to seven. I think Matt Olson is definitely turning his season around. 24 homers, a good backup to Freddie Freeman at first base for the National League. Uh, Arcia definitely is going to get, deserves to be in. He'll be in. Um, Ronald Acuna is already in. Sean Murphy deserves to be in. Strider, Strider, Elder, maybe even Iglesias, but I'll get with him in a minute. Uh, Darno, Azuna. So, I mean, it, it, all these, it's a plethora of opportunities. But the, the good thing is the Braves got the hitting that they needed. Uh, but the Reds fought, man. The Reds fought today. Uh, just like last night when the Braves hit three homers in the eighth to lose by one, the Reds hit two homers in the ninth inning. I'm telling you, the Reds are a gutsy team. They are swinging the bats, and they are playing with a lot of confidence. Obviously, in that ballpark, it helps. The ball flies out of there, especially when it's warm. Uh, right, I'll tell you, Rossiel Iglesias, man, this dude, as good as he is, he really worries me a lot. I think he worries me more than, than uh, Will Smith. And Kenley Jansen because this dude's ERA is like four seven nine. You know he blew that game in Detroit. I mean when Ro when Rossell Glacius is on he looks great, but when he gets that ball up and it's flat, 
I mean, two homers today in the ninth. All, almost blew this game. Uh, but, I mean, he, he is a good closer, but clearly the Braves are going to have to work at this trade deadline and get another closer. I do believe uh, during the trade deadline in August 31st that we're going to get a bullpen guy, a bat, and a starting pitcher. Maybe here and there, I don't know. But, I mean, it's – I don't know, man. To me, that's a little concerning. Uh, A.J. Minner definitely looked better now that he's not in the, in the save role anymore and everything. So, I mean, that's, that's you know, good in itself uh, that the Braves are able to get these wins. Uh, the Mets beat the Phillies today 4-2 to two to even that series. So the Phillies didn't do us any favors today, but I was rooting for the Phillies to win regardless. I mean, we all know, you know, how I think about that. Um, I can't stand that team. The Mets are still 14 back of the Braves. Phillies are 10 back. The Marlins hold on to beat the Pirates 4-3, to three, so they remain six back. The Braves have the Minnesota Twins uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in Atlanta. So I'll be looking for that. And then the Marlins come to town. So we get a chance to put some distance and we'll get we'll get a chance to see if the Marlins are for real. You know, the Braves are what, seven and one or six and one against Miami, and we kind of own them in recent years. So but you know, streaks are made to be broken. I remember in nineteen eighty two, uh the Braves had a thirteen game winning streak in Atlanta. The Reds ended that one. This, this kind of reminded me of that. The Reds have a, had a 12-game winning streak and uh, it ended today. You know, and the Reds ended our eight-game winning streak. So, uh, overall, it's been the type of series that I thought. And tomorrow is going to be no different. I will not be streaming the game. I'll be working. But uh, I, I, I said I told everybody the Braves would win today. And I said the Braves will win tomorrow. I said the Braves will win two games. Now, that's right where we needed to be. And that's tomorrow. Charlie Morton, go out. Try to shut this team down as best you can. The Reds will probably score some runs. But we'll see if the Braves are able to live up to the task. We'll see how the Reds bounce back after uh, their first loss, you know, after their 12-game winning streak. Um, uh, shout out to Dashy, You know, keep repping that team over there uh, and everything. So, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Subscribe to the channel. Click the like button. Atlanta Sports with Slitta. I'll see you guys in the next one. The, the, the staycation is on the horizons, folks. It is on the horizons, and I'm ready. Happy Saturday, guys. See you in the next one.